welcome to another virtual craft with the Paul Sawyer Public Library. My name is Diane Dahoney. I'm the Community Service Librarian here with Paul Sawyer. And tonight we're going to be making pine cone bats. As we head into this spooky season, I think this is going to be a great project. It's just a little bit creepy, but incredibly cute. Let's get started. If you registered for this craft, you received a kit um, that will include a pine cone, white and black felt, a bat wing pattern, some black pipe cleaners, a little foam paintbrush, some black acrylic paint, a two inch black uh, pom pom, and a pair of googly eyes. So those will be in your kit, um, and all of those items are pretty readily available at any craft store or um, like a big box store. Also, you will need a pair of scissors and a hot glue gun. Optional items, um, which I found to be helpful, were some tape. And then also, if you want to get a little bit more um, detailed or get in on the pine cone with the paint a little bit further, uh, if you have like a smaller paintbrush at home, you could always bring that out if you would like, but it's definitely not necessary. So now we will get started. For the sake of time, and I didn't think anybody wanted to watch me paint a pine cone, I went ahead and did that and allowed it to dry. So you are just going to take your black acrylic paint that you can get pretty much anywhere. It doesn't take much at all. And your paintbrush and you'll just paint the pine cone. Um, it dries very quickly because it's acrylic paint. Um, and you're going to notice, uh, because of the shape of the pine cone, there's still going to be a little bit of, of the brown of the pine cone showing through. And I think that actually makes it even more uh, realistic as a bat because bats are kind of black and brown. Um, so I think that really adds to it. So you'll see a little bit of the brown peeking through and it's perfectly okay. So that's the first thing you're going to do. You're going to paint your pine cone and let that dry completely. We'll set that aside for right now. The next thing you're going to do is cut out your stencil. You'll see you have one bat wing pattern. And you just cut that out. All right, now, um, ideally you could trace this um, onto your black felt uh, twice. We're gonna make two wings, of course, um, but I found even with the pencil, it wasn't showing up very well on the felt. If you had some chalk that you could trace it with, um, that might work well, but uh, what I did that I found to work pretty well is, oof, these out of the way. I just used a little bit of tape and taped the pattern onto the felt and then just cut it out that way. If you can hold it in place and cut that way, of course, that would be fine too, but I found that when I tried to do that, it was moving on me, so this works pretty well. Also, if you have fabric scissors uh, instead of regular scissors, um, that might work a little bit better as far as cutting the felt, um, but you certainly do not have to have those. That's just, a, just an option. We have our first bat wing, and now we'll cut our second. All 
there you have both of your bat wings. I'm going to set that black felt aside. We are going to use a little bit more of that to make our bat's ears. So the next thing you're going to do after you've cut out those bat wings is um, we're going to add some veining into the wings. Um, and we're going to do that with black pipe cleaner. What we're going to do is we're going to want one um, piece across the top of the bat wing. So you're going to kind of want to bend this and shape it to, to the shape of the, that bat wing, just the top there. Bend it, shape it with the, the way the shape of the wing goes. Eyeball that and then trim it. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing for the other top wing. That actually is going to fit pretty well. We might have to trim a little bit of it. I've got those. And then we're also going to put some veining into the, the middle part of the wing. So we're going to do one piece um, that comes from the point at the top of the wing. We're going to bring that down to the point here. Then another and down to the middle or kind of the middle point here those two, and then a piece on the inside of the wing. So let's cut those out now. Again, we'll just kind of eyeball that. You can also curve these a little bit so they don't look so rigid, I guess. Um, doesn't need to be much. I just think it looks a little better that way. for the center and that's going to be the part where you attach the wing to the pine cone body all right now we're just going to do the same for the other wing All right, once you have all of the veining cut out for your wings, we're going to take our hot glue gun. All right, so we're gonna just start gluing these on. So the top piece, you can either put the glue on the uh, pipe cleaner or you can put it directly on to the Wing. I'm just going to do a little bit of glue at a time instead of doing the whole top. And these pipe cleaners, um, while they look really cool, like the veins in the wing, um, they also provide some stability for the wings, it makes them a little bit more rigid. Um, so when you glue them on to the pine cone body um, and you sit sit your bat out. Um, they're just a little more sturdy. Okay, we got the top piece on. Now we're just going to do the three lower pieces. For these, I find it's easier to put the glue directly on the pipe cleaner. Now 
remember when you're working with hot glue, if it's strings, it's no, no worries. You can just pull those little strings off when it dries. Also, when you're pressing these down, and always when you're working with hot glue, just be very careful. You can burn yourself very easily. Now for the final inside piece. And there is your completed that way. Set this aside to uh, dry and set up a little bit and we'll do the same thing on the other wing. Okay, now that we have both of those bat wings completed, and I set those aside, we're going to cut out um, our ears and our little fang, our little teeth for the bat. So we'll do the ears first. So you're gonna take your black felt, and um, I have found that if you kind of take the side of your, um, like a straight edge on the felt and do like a semicircle shape. And of course you can trace this out if you'd like or just freehand it. I'm gonna freehand it. All right, just a little semicircle like that. And then cut it in half. And that makes two nice little ears. Now these are a little bit bigger than what I want. You can do them, that would work. You can see there, um, those would be just fine. Uh, I'm gonna cut mine down just a little bit. And these don't have to be exactly alike, but if you want them to be a perfect matching pair, of course you can put them on top of each other and make sure they match. But I think these will be a good size. You can kind of tell there um, on top of the poof, which is gonna be the bat's head. So I like the look of those. So we're gonna set those aside. And next we're gonna take our white felt and cut out a couple little little fangs. Now if this doesn't take much at all. I'm gonna cut just a small square out of this to use and set the rest aside. And basically all you need is two little triangles. Um, you can make them as large or as small as you like. Um, I'm just going to eyeball this again, but you could certainly trace them out. Just like a little little triangle, a little carrot shape maybe. Um, so they're a little slimmer and pointier. And you can make those as small or as large as you would like. So there you have two little fangs. So we'll set those aside. Now we're gonna go back to our pine cone. Before you um, start gluing things onto your pine cone, uh, one thing I wanted to note is that you want to see how your pine cone sits. Obviously, 
all pine cones are not going to be alike. Some will be bigger, some will be smaller, some will sit to one side. Um, this one leans back a little bit this way. So I'm going to make this, because this is how it sits, I'm going to make this the front of my bat. Um, because that's going to be the, the nice side when it, when it sits like that. And then I'm going to take the uh, black pom-pom. And what we're going to do is glue that right on top of your pine cone. That's going to be the head of your bat. So to start, I'm just going to put a pretty generous amount of glue Push that down. And then hold it there. I want to make sure it sets. And it looks like we've got that pretty well secured. You can tell if it's if it's gonna set or not. Like this. Well, I said that, and it looks like I need to put a little bit more glue right in here. You can just shoot that down in there. And again, just hold, push down on the pom-pom into the pine cone to make sure that it's attaching and adhering to the top there. Okay, I think that's on there pretty well. So now that we have the head on there, we are going to first put the eyes. So you're going to take your little googly eyes. We're going to glue those on to the pom-pom. And that's where you want to make sure that it's sitting the direction that you want. I'm going to have him sit like this. So I'm going to put his eyes on just kind of wherever you would like. You want them higher up on his head, in the center, just whatever you think looks nice. Okay, and glue the other one on. Okay, so we got both of his eyes on there. And now we're just going to glue his ears on. Same thing. I take those and just glue them to kind of the top of his head. I'm going to put a little line of glue on the base of the ear and pop that on wherever you think looks best. And because of the way the pom-pom is made, you can kind of pinch it on there. Make sure it's set. Just like that. You'll do the same thing on the other side. And there you go. You've got both of your little ears. Now we're going to do his little, his little fangs. All right. So now with your little fangs, you're just going to glue those onto kind of the lower part um, of the face. And I'm not going to glue them completely on to the pom-pom. I'm actually just going to glue the top. So the pointy end, the little fang end, won't actually be attached. It'll be coming off the face a little bit. So he has like, so it looks like he has his little fangs out. So I'm gonna glue those on. It doesn't take much glue at all. So you can see it's just glued there at the base, and then it looks like his little fang is out. And glue the other one. And 
and there you have it. So it's starting to look like a little bat now. Um, and all we have left to do is attach his wings. Now I found that the best thing to do when attaching the wings is, um, as far as placement, to place them a little further back um, on the pine cone, on the back of the pine cone. Um, so it looks like they're coming out from behind, I guess, a little more than just sticking out on the side like this. Um, and then also, when you do it that way, it gives it more security, stability, um, because there's more surface area being glued down as opposed to just kind of sticking off the side here. So it'll look more like that. So I'm gonna glue both of the wings on. Make sure. Where I wanna place it and then put plenty of glue on there. Hold that to make sure it sets up. Okay, so we got one wing on, and now we'll do the other. any strings in the glue, you can pull those off and turn them back around and make sure everything is positioned like you want it. Voila! You have an adorable pinecone bat. Thanks so much for crafting with us. We hope you enjoyed uh, creating your very own pinecone bat. Uh, when you finish your project, we hope that you will log on to the PSPL Facebook page and uh, add a photo, share a photo of your creation. Um, thanks again for being with us, and we hope that you join us again for another craft very soon. Thanks. Mm -hmm.